guys, Anne Marie here with a heritage layout process video today. So let's just jump right in. Um, I had this photo, it was for a challenge on a message board where we were creating a layout with a childhood photo of ourselves. So I found this one from a uh, ballet recital. It was, I think for the dress rehearsal night. So I was in kind of my practice, like leotard and tights and slippers and not the actual costume, but um, mom had done a trial run on my bun and my makeup. And then she had me strike a little pose in the living room before we went in for the dress rehearsal. So um, this was just a, a little cute special memory that I wanted to document. Um, I had a heck of a time finding like dance themed papers, but I did have a few nice black and white music papers that I thought would work well for this. And then um, some other scraps and I think a full sheet of that butterfly paper that just seemed to uh, pick up on the colors in my leotard and tights. There was kind of a purple tint overall to the photo um, and I didn't get any purple papers because there wasn't actually anything purple in the photo. It's either the way the photo has aged or the way the film processing happened back in the 80s. I'm not sure. Or some combination. Um, but I decided to um, just really stay true to the colors I knew were in the photo. <laughs> and when I look at it as a whole, the photo does kind of jump out at me. But when I really focus on it and look at it, I feel like the tones and the colors are all still represented, especially in like the butterflies, because there's so many kind of gradations of the pink and corals and fading into blacks. So they kind of go through the purple zone. Anyway, I'm probably overthinking it. But um, I chose these papers and I'm going to distress them. That was another part of kind of that vintage feel of this of this photo. Um, it's a little fuzzy. There's kind of that old school haze um, that happens on film photographs. And um, I decided that softening everything with a little inking and edge distressing would help match that. Plus that pink, kind of that dusty pink uh, music paper that I had, it was already distressed. And I would classify kind of that polka dot scrap with the uh, ombre polka dots that was also a little distressed feeling. So this was just a way to kind of unify everything and bring it all in the same feel. So I tried a few different arrangements. Um, I just kind of cut a big block of the butterfly paper. I knew I wanted to embellish with some fussy cut ones from the paper. And so I knew I didn't want to use, you know, a full sheet of it. Um, I played around with that black strip and ended up moving it, just tearing it in half and moving it to the top and bottom so it would peek out from behind the butterfly paper. Um, I originally intended to use the black as the eight and a half by 11 piece, but I got distracted while I was uh, cutting it and totally chopped it in half the wrong way. I could have rescued it, but I decided I wanted to use the distressed pink as the base anyway and just use that vertical piece of the black and white music paper as an accent. And that worked out really nicely. Um, and then I matted my focal photo on the polka dot paper. I feel like I should have used a bigger piece of that, um, but it's fine. There just wasn't a lot of contrast between it and the butterfly paper. So then I just matted it again on a very, very thin border of the black paper. And again, made sure everything was unified and how it was distressed. So I fussy cut a few butterflies that I thought gave some variety, but were also just plain freaking gorgeous. And I also got my punches out so that I could punch a few out of the backside, which was this kind of solid distressed black. Um, I know that sounds like an oxymoron that it was solid and it was distressed, but I think you know the type I'm talking about. There was no pattern, but you could tell there was like shadows and scratches and that type of thing on the paper. Um, and so then I just punched out a bunch and a ton of different sizes. And I set all those kind of to the side so I could just start building little sprays of butterflies on the page. 
Um, I did stop at this point to build my title because I knew I wanted those butterfly pieces to kind of come around that or come off of that. And so I just used some thickers and some tile stickers. It's kind of hard to read the tile stickers here because they're metallic um, foil pressed onto the, the, the paper. Um, but it says take the stage. So once I had my title built, it was time to start building the embellishment kind of sprays of butterflies. And so I started moving them around. I had fussy cut, oh, I don't know, quite a few. Um, I at least started with the three big ones, um, but there really wasn't gonna be room for that. So I just set aside two of them and started working with the smaller ones. This is another place where I feel like the polka dot paper may have been um, better if it had been wider, if I used more of it. Uh, just because I feel like the butterflies kind of compete with the background paper. Um, and so it's not, it doesn't pop as much as I would like it to, but I mean, it also wasn't bad enough that I stopped and redid everything. So, and you know, I will <laughs> if I think I need to. So it's all good, I guess. All right. So I finished those out again. I just... Kind of follow my usual process, starting with something large in the center and then tapering out um, above and below, kind of at a diagonal or staggering and decreasing in size as I go. And now it's time to add some bling. I had these pretty pink rhinestones that matched just perfect. This is when I love my stash, right? <laughs> when I can find the absolutely perfect thing in it. Um, but I tell you, I don't think I need as big of a stash of colored rhinestones as I have because there's some colors. I just don't know if I'll ever find <laughs> a match, but whatever I did here and it was gorgeous and lovely and wonderful. And I, I was very happy. All right. So it's time for journaling. I kept it super short and sweet. Um, just that it was for my ballet recital and a general season and year for when it happened. And that's the layout. So thanks so much for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your time. If you did enjoy it, please consider just clicking the like button or subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a great week. I will see you on Friday for the weekly wrap up. Bye.